Jeremiah 20, verses 7 through 13. In the beginning of this reading, Jeremiah is doubting and lamenting the Lord and the burden of his prophecy. He tries to hide from it, but it burns deep from within him and he cannot contain it. His peers are watching and waiting for him to falter and fail so that they can prosper over him. But the Lord is with him like a strong defender. Jeremiah's faith prevails and guides him through this moment of weakness and gives him the power to keep his course. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the needy from the clutches of evildoers. John 10 verses 31 through 42. In this selection, the Jewish opposition is preparing to stone Jesus, and he wishes to know for which of his good works are they going to stone him. They respond that the stoning isn't for the works, but rather for making himself out to be God. To this, Jesus replied, Isn't it written in your law? I have said you are gods. Scripture calls those to whom God's word came gods, and scripture can't be abolished. So how can you say that the one whom the Father has made holy and sent into the world insults God because he said, I am God's son? If I don't do the works of my Father, don't believe me. But if I do them and you don't believe me, believe the works so that you can know and recognize that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. After this, they still wanted to arrest him, but he escaped and went back across the Jordan to where John had baptized at first. Psalm 18, verses 1 through 7. He said, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my solid rock, my fortress, my rescuer. My God is my rock. I take refuge in him. He's my shield, my salvation, strength, my place of safety. Because he is praiseworthy, I cried out to the Lord, and I was saved from my enemies. Death's cords were wrapped around me. Rivers of wickedness terrified me. The cords of the grave surrounded me. Death's traps held me tight. In my distress, I cried out to the Lord. I called to my God for help. God heard my voice from his temple. I called to him for help and my call reached his ears. The earth rocked and shook. The bases of the mountains trembled and reeled because of God's anger. So as I reflect on these readings, a unifying theme keeps coming back to me. As God's people, we are not exempt from tough times, but with a strong faith, the Lord will see us through. Let us pray. Lord, forgive us as we have doubted you. We have denied you, and we have walked away from you. There have been hard times, and we've called out to you with only a glint of faith left. We have not been worthy, but yet you rescue us time and time again. We praise you, Lord, and give thanks for all the difficult times you've seen us through, and all the difficult times you will see us through. Lord, give us strength when all hope is lost. Lord, guide us through the darkness when we can't see the light. Lord, be our shield. We praise you, Lord, and we give thanks knowing you will see us through the tough times. In your name we pray. Amen.